step back the captain, getting busy, getting in charge. Let's talk about two games yesterday. I'm going to combine the two. You know what? I, I'm going to call it miss, the, the games of missed opportunities, bro. It's, it's, it's actually re, really retarded what's going on in this NBA when we're dealing with teams that have injuries and are hurting. And the fact that the teams that had the injuries and are hurting couldn't be exploited by the teams that are a little bit more healthy. And yesterday was a pure case of that. And I'm going to talk about two teams in one video. First of all, the Pelicans, the guys that I expected to go out and go ahead and beat up on the Phoenix Suns with an injured Devin Booker. It once again proves the depth of the NBA. As I mentioned, I talked about this many times. Again, in spot moments, these teams are going to be able to get by. There is The, the drills are the same, my nays. The drills are the same. Step back, shoot three, three uh, Euro layup. The drills are the same. It's going to be very tough to differentiate players in the future. It's going to be very easy to replace players in the future. Now, people are going to say, hey, man, it's one game. It's deep book. Are you stupid? What the hell are you talking about? You got no basketball knowledge. But as a case in form of yesterday, with a team lacking Devin Booker, okay, playing with you know the, 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 the sham god of basketball, Mr. Mr. Chris Paul, Cam Johnson steps up. OK, Cam Johnson steps up to the table, a kid who was probably maybe the second or third best player on North Carolina. You know, you weren't even thinking about him in the draft. You're like, I, was th- I wasn't even thinking about Devin Booker in the draft. But this EuroLeague step back, shoot the three NBA. You can drill a player with that. What I'm talking about by drill bros is, is essentially they, they can work out their way to be a great player. Just got to put the reps in. And it's a lot of fun to watch. Now it's about all about execution. Who can execute? Now, obviously, there's a level to this when you talk about the step back game, the three point game, all that good stuff, right? Certain players a little bit better, a little bit more shifty. You know, that's why I like. That's why I call it the step back team. You know, some of my favorites, Kevin Porter Jr. You know, on that team, Dane Lillard on that squad, the all step back squad. You know, James Harden, obviously one of the guys of this shit. You know, they they a little funky with it, but. At the end of the day, it's, it's the same concept. Man. It's the same concept. Shoot the three. You don't no longer need a big athlete. Let me tell you how bad the league has gotten uh, as far as athleticism need. Let's look at your boy Aaron Gordon, the guy who's a supreme athlete, a dunk championship. Is he doing anything that's crazy with the Nuggets right now, man? Seriously. Is he doing anything crazy with the Nuggets? Ask yourself that question. He's not. You know, He really isn't. Um, this is this is where we're at. This is where we're at in the NBA. Uh, and I think this is definitely something to behold as teams start to consider their their player movements and who they're playing. The LeBron James League of old, where you had to be a superior athlete of, you know, I hate to say Michael Jordan type level. We can even see it with Don Mitchell, man. You can see these big athletes. It don't matter. Look at McCullum. Can't even get off the floor. Look what he's doing. Look how he's creating. OK, I was just saying this team needs a point guard when we looked at the Pelicans. Um, but it's it's obvious. Look, look, look what happens. Look, look at this. Landry Shamet. Landry Shamet. OK, it's it's ridiculous, guys. It really is. It's ridiculous to have. Devin Booker out in a playoff game and for you not to take advantage of it, I don't care how much, I don't care how much, I don't don't got nothing to say. It hurts me. Aiton stepped up. Let's look at the stat line before I jump to the other game, man. Missed opportunities. Ingram, what is you doing? Look at here. Pain, book. I'm here. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm here for a team with some of the better front lines. Yeah, I'm looking at these EVs, man. I was gonna, I was gonna go get a car, but I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. These EVs is coming so quick; it's almost dumb for a dude to go purchase a car. It's a wrap, man. Gas cars on them, you know the fucking GT sixty three S and then the M eight. They, they it's over for them. Now let's get into it, man. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and peek into the stat board. I'm, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's go in here to the stat board. Box score, talk to me. Give me in there, straight up. 
Get me in there. Give it to me the box score. Too long. Come on. Aiton, uh, 28 and 17. Mikael Bridges, 17 points. Again, the, 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 you really got to ask yourself. You got to ask yourself. Chris Paul was simply phenomenal. 19 of 28 points, almost 14 assists. He's the only real difference difference maker, right? He's Chris Paul is, is the only guy I would say you would say he's special. He's a cut above. There's not many point guards like him anymore. That's why he's playing so long. Okay. Look at his stat line on his team. They were hitting. You even had McGee getting into the action. Shamit coming up with a big dunk to, get, to, 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 to you know swerve the momentum. Booker's out. This is retarded, man. This is fucking retarded. I'm going to go to the New Orleans side. Ingram, 34-7. Great, efficient night. McCollum, similar, similar. A little bit for worse on certain areas, but 34-7, not bad game. Herb Jones, 12-3. You, you're saying it's not too bad. Val Chunis didn't have his typical night. No homo. Jace, uh, Jackson Hayes, you know, the power forward, you know, can play center as well a little bit. 4-6. I don't expect him to score. The, the, you know what? It wasn't bad. It wasn't too bad for the uh for the for the for your boys on the on the Pelicans until you get to the bench, right? Nine points for Alvarado, not enough assists. Lance Jr. Was, was, you know, whatever. Najee Marshall, Trey Murphy. I don't know if they're playing enough and taking enough shots. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I don't know if they're playing enough and taking enough shots. Gary Clark still available. Let's look at the total team play. Field goal percentage, 50% for the Suns. Um, three points. They were horrible. They were horrible, okay? Four for 26. Free throws, 81%. Rebounds, they were less. I'm not sure we won this game, but we're going to see assists, 26. Let's see turnovers. Oof, that's what killed the Pelicans. Oof. And then, then I remember, every time I make a comment, because I like commenting in the section, I like, I like going back. I like getting busy, man. You know, I like getting busy. Like star, the star, the, the commentator, you know, star, watch star show, man. I like I like talking about shit, man. Let's let's go ahead and go back and forth a little bit on the internet, you know. Internet thugs. Let's, let's get busy. 14, 14 turnovers versus five turnovers. It's clearly evident New Orleans had a problem. And they don't got a point guard. Okay. Alvarado's a solid backup. No doubt. No doubt. Kyra Lewis is probably there. It's probably the closest thing they get. I think he could be the starting point guard. I really like his talent if he can come back the same way he was. But right now he's seeing what happens when you don't got a point guard. All right. Don't, don't comment on me when I say if you don't got a point guard, it's not going to make sense. Let's go to this horrible, horrible, horrible night for the Chicago Bulls. Horrible. I mean, it's it's almost, I mean, I want to fire somebody off of this shit. I didn't turn on the game. We may get to that first. You know what? Let's go ahead and watch the game. You know, you know, we visual people, man. We gotta see. Let's see the visuals on this. Enough of this, Brandon Ingram. What a shame. I had to do two and one, bro. I had to. Let's go back and look at the bullshit, man. Let's go. Let's go. The books held the Bulls under seventy points for forty-five minutes. Their goals were defense. As I said, Tiannis Antetokounmpo is going to be a defensive presence that Chris Middleton isn't. And sometimes that's worthwhile more than your offense, guys. Defense pays the bills, man. It's ugly. It gets nickerish, you know? If you remember the Knicks way back in the 90s, early 2000s, they were they were rough. I mean, it, it, were, it were ugly games, you know, Patty Ewing and all that. It was rough, but, man, they got busy. That was a defensive era. You can win with defense, guys, okay? Look at this. Uh, uh, who's this? Brooke Lopez. I'm an all-star, too. Two. I'm an all-star too. Keep going. We're still getting busy. Look at your boy. Look at your boy Durenza. You know, after having that good of a game the other night, you do that. I mean, just tremendous, tremendous the night before. He was Jordan-esque. You gotta take advantage of these opportunities, bro. Seriously. And once again, I talked about the plug and play. I said, you know, these guys are gone, but you know, you can plug and play them. Look at this. By the way, the Nets let go of Javon Carter for, for Gordon Dragic. I remember I said that was stupid, but hey, whatever. Whatever, you know, whatever. Let's keep going. Now, now you know what? That wasn't stupid. Dragic is an all-star. That's that, that's my mistake. I admit when I'm wrong. I'm sorry. He was his fucking former all-star. He was doing his thing. He got some defensive capabilities. Anyway, let's keep going. Woo, Levine. Tremendous talent, looking good, but look at the scoreboard. They, they, you make you make a scene. You would think the fucking Bulls are winning. Where well, they showing all these highlights? Look, look, look at this. Okay, 
Okay, Giannis. Giannis. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's a problem. They, they looking at voodoo shit. What the fuck is you doing? 100%. Shit, get it. Who's this? Pat Connaughton? Yeah, I knew he was going to hit. I mentioned that. Pat Connaughton or, or Jordan or Raw, we're going to have to get busy. Ooh, who's that? Is that Grayson Allen, my nigga? Oh, no. He got in and out. Lord God. Kobe White got to step up a little bit more. Really got to rely on him to be the, the sixth man of the year. He has to embrace that role, man. All right, Vujacek. Who's that, Kobe? Who's this guy? Oh, Caruso. All right, all right. Greek Freak. All right. Brooke Lo like I said, they got they got a couple all stars here, man. They got a big they got a big four. You know, people forget about Brooke Lopez, man. I remember you, Brooke, when you was on the Nets, Brooklyn. That we're Brooklyn. That we're Jersey, yeah, man. Shit, we're Jersey, yeah, baby. It was a Jersey. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. Okay, so they really had. Look at the scoreboard by now, man. This is the second quarter. It was over then. It must have been a really bad shooting night. Bulls like Bulls don't know what the fuck's going on. Look at this thing. Oh, you want some more? Ooh, did I tell you I like it? <laughs> Ooh, wait. Oh god, these niggas is not fooling around. Man, I swear to God on my mother, man, it's crazy out here. Oh, God damn, Zach Levine, Lord God help us. This is called missed opportunities. When you got talent like Zachy and Dorenza, the two double hitters, man, one of the top two duos in the NBA, there's a problem, man. Look at Drew playing with him. Again, another pure, another point guard in the, in the old era, man. Another point guard, man. You need it. Look at the setup. Look at the setup here. Good post move, Giannis. I'm gonna do it myself. You good? Did you dunk that shit? Lord God. <laughs> that, nigga, that, that nigga is an NBA. That, that dude is an NBA created player. There is no doubt about it, man. He's a creative player, bro. Will you check? Okay, let's stop here. The game is over to me right there. 75 54, uh, ex except for some teams. There's one dumbass team in Minnesota. That ruined it for me and my bet on them, man. Voyage not bad. 19, 6, and 3. Okay. Levine, 15 and 5, not enough. Dorenzen, horrible, but didn't shoot. Really didn't shoot. Didn't take over. Uh Caruso, 9 for 2. Patrick Williams, not the game we needed from Patrick. Okay. Not the game we needed. Bradley, okay, was okay. Kobe White didn't do enough. The sumo, the bench is not showing up for this team. The bench is not showing up to the team. I'm not sure why Jay Green's not playing much more. He was really killing it in the beginning of the season, and this is when they had their their, their run. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. He doesn't fit playing against uh, Attack with Kupo. I get it. Patrick Williams fits better, but you know, honestly, you know, they, they need to get him in the rotation for some energy. It's not working out here. It's not working out. Even though with the great performance of Mr. Bradley, uh it's not enough, it's not enough muscle. It's not enough wins here. Uh, Levine, uh, Duranzen, got to give more output. You got to have 25, 26-point games. Um, and that was really the difference maker. We go over to Milwaukee and it was all-encompassing. Giannis wasn't even doing it. How about Bobby Portis with the big game, my ninjas? How about but no no highlights for my man? Look at the, look at the highlights. 18, 16, I'll step up. We good. Drew Holiday, 16 and 6. Bro Brooke Lopez, 9 and 2. Wes Matthews, oh, Lord God. Yeah, he's just a placeholder. Grayson Allen, 22 and 6. Whew. Who would have thought that? Pat Conte. I didn't have him on the radar. Look at Tiennes Akatukupo defensively was there. Jordan Nawal had an opportunity to step up. Did not, did not tonight, but he'll get his chances. Uh, and it was mostly uh bulldoz and minutes anyway. Javon Carter uh didn't play much, but then defensively, like what he does there, man. Tremendous opportunity. Obaki, Obaka came in there, 5.6 rebounds. I like that. I fucks with that. I'm good with this, man. This is not a bad situation for the Bucks. Uh, really let down uh, for the Chicago Bulls. Uh, this is what we call missed opportunities. And I'm going to step out here, man. It is what it is. I feel that they'll, they'll both teams will bounce back, Pelicans and Bulls. But, man, don't miss these opportunities anymore, man. Crush this team when they have these injuries. But it's tough because, because of the new drill system, every team is almost equal. I'm almost out of here. Peace. Your boy step back.